did you like it? Did you enjoy it? What do you think about it? You, 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 we can go right into spoilers. It was okay at best. And yeah, it's like I the first part I was looking for is uh check what they did with Soka, given a lot we got so much pushback from that. And yeah, it actually happened. Like they removed the sick uh his sexism at the at the beginning at least. And now he is did you like the actor? I, I kind of feel like he's kind of lacking his acting skill. Ang- well, a lot a lot of people were Soka, Zuko. A lot of people I felt that they didn't stick the landing in some of their lines. I feel like their acting could have been better or done. I feel like it lacked kind of feeling a lot of it. Like it was supposed mm. to be high in emotions, but it felt kind of flat in a lot of instances. I did like yeah, the but... uncle though. The uncle of Zuko. Oh yeah, Iro. Uh, yeah, General Iro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Iro. Whoever played as Iro. Uh yeah, what good. else? Yeah. Uh Katara, she's also okay. And maybe it's a little better compared to the two. A, a little bit, a little better, in my opinion. But in terms of the story, yeah, I can't really say. But I was sure when they when they talked about the Omashu or just no way, no way that these two are lesbians in the original in the original anime. No, they're no not. Freaking way. No so, freaking uh, way. In, in the secret tunnel, the secret the, the secret tunnel with the freaking uh, secret messaging with the how Omashu was formed uh, in the original is a man and a woman. Yeah, it's like, yeah, nah, it's like what you're, you're putting an Asian fantasy folklore story back then that there, there's a lesbian couple. No, no freaking way, man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so, so now, now he, here, are, uh, before we like super go into uh, dive into, it, I, I, I want to give sort of like a, we are going to be comparing. I, at least I will. I will be comparing it because I've been. Uh, I watched it to episode uh, eleven or twelve of the cartoon. Um, and the thing is, I have my wife to um, bounce off of um, what she thought about it. And uh, I would say, let's start with the acting. Uh, I think Aang did a solid job. Um, the thing is that I've been watching a lot of the animation and the cartoon. And Aang has way more character. And it felt like we're basically speed running yeah, like, it's whatever funny. they're trying to tell. Right? Yeah. Whatever, they're trying to, whatever they're trying to tell or portray, it felt like everything was... Um, you're basically doing like a speed run and you didn't get enough time with each character. For instance, Aang is very goofy and very lighthearted in the, in the cartoon. Now for this one, he's very serious and like everything, everything is, they're basically trying to tell you is here are my feelings. I'm very sad. Here are my feelings. Right. And in the cartoon it's more like show don't tell, but this one is more like, I'm going to tell you everything how I felt, right? I'm very sad right now. Tell me how not to be sad. I'm like, okay, whatever. The writing is bad. You can tell, like the thing that hurts this the most is the writing. The writing hurts a, a, a lot. I would say if this if this had probably like maybe 10 episodes instead of eight, like it might be better. I'm not sure. But um, another thing is um, I think the, the people that got cast were pretty good, except for a few. There are there are three characters that was extremely miscast, and we will talk about. It. I'll, I'll bring up comparisons and stuff like that. Um, I would say uh, Katara, the Katara's act acting was probably pretty good. She's not as annoying as she is in the cartoon, but the thing is that they gave her so little to work with. Like she, her character is probably least developed, in my opinion. Yeah, and yeah, um, is. and the so VFX. The VFX was pretty good at times, but at, and at other times it felt really bad. Some of the editing was pretty bad. Choreography was pretty good, especially when you felt when you saw Zuko fight. Zuko yeah. probably had the best choreography because he he mixes martial arts like his punches and his kicks and stuff like that. Were actually, pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, I, um, General Iroh, which is the uncle, real uh, well, really well cast. Um, I would say uh, the dad Ozai. Uh, he's yeah, he's pretty good too. I do like him. He he holds a presence whenever he's in the room. Yeah. Uh I would say uh Sokka, I would say he's he's pretty good too. Um now, a couple of things where I what what I didn't like was um was the casting of this uh Azula. Azula, Tylee, mm. and Mai, which is uh Zuko's sister, younger sister. So if you didn't know, I'm gonna show over here. These are the characters we're looking at, Gray. Now, Gray, before 
looking at the cartoons, how do you feel about how they look like in live action? Yeah, pretty pretty far off. Especially the one on the right. What's her what's her name? The one on the right. Kylie. Is, wasn't she a bit wasn't she a bit chubby in the live action? No, all all, all of them are fucking fat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just saying, yeah, yeah. Okay, just saying you know, my wife got so pissed off is because these three were her favorite characters. And the thing is that she she likes Zuko as well. And the thing is, Zuko yeah, yeah. actually, uh, Zuko's actual like love interest is Tylee. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Why are they so fat? Okay. The 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 one. Oh, it's my sorry, not my sorry, 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 Tylee and my sorry. But the thing is that, uh, it's uh, what's it called again? She's okay. The one on the the one on the right over here, she's I guess she's fine looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh my god, dude! Oh shit, man! Yeah, Zuko's GF is my sorry, sorry. I I I uh, I haven't gotten to the uh, the animation where I see their characters already, and these these two characters. They didn't. They're on screen good amount of time, but they don't. They don't say their names, so I'm, I'm sorry for that. But the thing is, <clears throat> what happened, right? Even Azula, like you see Azula here, right? Yeah, she kind of is. She's she's a lot more fit in this one. In the yeah, what, what happened here? Look, I'm not. I, I, I'm not saying. Look, I saw pictures of these girls when they're like in their, um, you know, that not they're, when they're not in character. Like they look fine. What happened? Like the makeup made him look fat, and I, I don't know, dude. Yeah, they're kind of fat, right? Yeah. It's like what? Oh man. Oh geez, it's not, it's not like oh, especially what her, especially like she's her story arc is in the show. Anyways, like she wants to take over the throne in the Fire Nation and out, uh, and to take Zuko out of the equation. So she really has to be a battles. Battle hardened skilled warrior. Not yeah, not like that. Yeah. But man. Jeez. <laughs> no. When when my wife, this is what she said. She said, uh uh-uh. uh. Wait, what? No. No. Did she eat them? What happened? <laughs> Did they eat them? So yeah. Um, the one, uh, this, 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 this chubby one on, like, and when you zoom out, like, it's not just her face is fat. She's also. F- <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that one, you, you can't make, 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 you can't cover that with makeup for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, look, looks like she, she got like her wisdom tooth pulled out. So like her, her, <laughs> she has like the giant, like chipmunk cheeks, man. I'm, I'm sorry. This is, this sounds like we're. We're like fucking assholes, dude. But I'm just I'm just calling it out. They, they, they don't look good. All right, they don't look good. Now yeah, um, they're, they're not in character with the TV show. Yeah. So another one is uh Princess Yu Yue or Yu. I forgot how, how you pronounce her name. Uh I think it's Yu. Yeah, I have a, Princess Yue. So uh Yue is um it's um it means moon, right? In in Mandarin. So yeah. uh let's see, live action. So Gray, do you want to see how she look? Um, how she looks like? Yeah, you remember how she looks like, right? She looks like this. Oh no! Whoops! This is the this is the and like Shyamalan version. Her hair looks way better here, in my opinion. Okay, I'm just saying her hair looks way better here, but her hair looks god awful in this live action one. Look at look at that wig. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that wig looks looks pretty awful. Like but, I, I, it, I think she she did fine though. Animated in what does she look like in the animated series? Does she look like this? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, all right. So I mean, she looks like this. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not bad, but like the the live action, it's like, do you guys not know how to do hair correctly or something? It's like even this is the, the M Night Shyamalan one is not bad, but like the wig on this one is like, oh man, like why can't you just like dye your hair silver for this for for the show? 
right? It'll look way, look more natural and stuff like that. But anyways, like, <clears throat> uh, she dies, right? Yeah. She sacrificed herself because uh, freaking uh, General uh, General Zhao like fucking stabs the fish, right? And then she dies. I don't fucking care. Like that's that's how fast the show was. Yeah. So she was only what one episode? One episode, right? She was like in one and a half episodes, at most. Yeah. Right. It's like it was so it was so fast. She doesn't look that bad. Like she, I think she herself she looks fine. Her hair doesn't look great. I, I wish her hair was more um you could tell it was a wig. Right. But um, but the thing is, uh, I think she was in like one and a half episodes. Um, and uh like basically it's the first time she meets, uh she talks to uh what's it called again? Uh Sokka, like the end of a kissing. <laughs> Just like yeah. wow, wow, that's really fast. Yeah, even in even in that other episode, right? The was it episode two or episode three? The Kyoshi oh, Suki. Island. He was with the yeah, Suki. he was with the wind girl. He was also with the wind girl. Yeah, uh, she was with Suki. The live action was well, she actually looks pretty cute in my opinion. I, I would say she's probably the best looking uh, female, uh, uh, it, it, at, at least for me. Uh, let's see, Suki Avatar live action. Uh, yeah, she she she's very she's very cute looking. Um. I don't know. Like she looks like this. This this is accurate. This is accurate to to the to the show, to the, show. Uh, to the cartoon. Yeah. And uh this is her. Uh let me bring this up. Son of a bitch. Uh yeah, she's she's pretty cute. Uh and yeah. um but the thing is um in in this show uh what happens is that they they go to uh right uh Kyoshi Kyoshi Island. Yeah, Kyoshi Island and they 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 meet with the um, I guess the leader and the leader is the the mom or the old old the old lady, which is the teacher. She's the leader in the in the anime. Well, it's not an anime. In the cartoon, it's a guy. The guy the guy's a leader. They, ah. take, they changed it. Yeah, they changed it up for a little a, a ah. little bit, which is fine. I I, I was fine with it. Okay. But the thing the main thing is that I noticed that they changed since I started watching the cartoon. Um, Kyosha does not appear make an appearance. Kyosha is the avatar, right? Yeah, the avatar. The avatar. Yeah, so the the, 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 ava the avatar, the previous one. Now, um, the first avatar that Aang interacts with in the cartoon is Roku. It, which is a second one, which is the Fire Nation one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so in this one, she interacts with Kyosha first. And then she's like, oh, you're supposed to be... Um, ruthless you're supposed to be vicious you're supposed to get yourself into war and stuff like that you're supposed to do a, a bunch of crazy shit right yeah and uh and then he's like i don't know how to do it let me take over your body and i'll show you how to do it right so she yeah. does that she fucks up all of the the people that were coming uh coming uh what's it called again to in, into uh kiyoshi island and then i'm like oh that's pretty cool and then my wife was like does this happen in the show i don't remember and then uh i watched a cartoon that is supposed to happen with Roku. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's supposed that's supposed to happen with Roku. Roku is ah. the one who who does it, Take, not takes over his body. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's it's gonna get worse in season two, man. If they're already this brazen in season one, it's it's gonna end up being The Witcher. Sadly, it's, that's how I see it. Yeah, like they're, so, they're, uh, they're a bit tame on the woke stuff on first season, but by come second season, bam, full blast. It is okay. Now, now here's the thing um, there's a lot of things that they could have kept in the show. Like, for instance, uh, there's this one story that's in the the anime in the car. Sorry, my meat for, for forgive me if I keep saying anime. Um, uh, what's it called again in the cartoon? What happened is that there's a story where um, it talks more about Katara's character. And I think that's what they're missing. They they're missing like one or two episodes to flesh out more of Katara's character because I don't care about her, right? She's probably the poorly she's poorly written in my opinion, and it feels like they rushed on her character. And like for one of the ep uh, episodes in the cartoon was that uh, she saw a guy uh, earthbending, and he's like, "Ooh, you're an earthbender." He goes, <gasps> and he runs away. Right, he runs away, and uh, and then they go into the village. He's like, "Wait, wait, what's going on?" So they go into this tiny ass village, and he's like uh your i saw your son uh air uh earthbending he's like don't say that we're not supposed to be doing that here and he's like what why 
is because what happened is that uh, if you're if you if you find out that you're like an earthbender, uh, they will arrest you. The Fire Nation will arrest you. So what happened was, I guess there's an old man who who saw them doing it, and then he ratted on him, and he got arrested. And he's like, like he's arrested just like his dad. His dad's been arrested and stuff like that. And then Katara was like, I we need to save him. It's my fault. And then Sokka's like, what? We barely know him. He's like, yeah, but it's my fault that he got arrested. So we got to fake that I can do air, uh, earthbending. So they fake it, and then they get captured. And then, like, she goes and meets the dad and, um, like, everyone who's been captured that's been practicing earthbending. And she, and along with the group, frees all of them. Like, like liberates all of them. And then they, and, and there's a really cool fight on the ship. And then it shows Katara's character, how she's actually caring and nurturing and shit like that. And this one, I don't, I don't feel that they're friends. Like, that one, yeah. like, in the cartoon, all of them are friends. They feel like they're buddy-buddy. They talk to each other. They joke with one another. This one is more like, okay, we have the same alignment. And we're just, we're just you know, acquaintances. It, it doesn't feel like they're friends. Uh, at least that's how I feel. Uh, uh, do you feel like that? Yeah. You're talking about the rebel guy, Ray, was it? Is that the one you're pertaining to? The guy who knows how to fight? Are you pertaining to the same? No, no. Uh... The, 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 the story I'm talking about is not in the, the, the live action. Oh yeah, yeah. I I think maybe that's the alternative where she's she helps out at, at least at first the rebel group, the rebel group who made her who helped them enter Omashu. Do you remember oh, that, that one? one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, that, maybe I that was the substitute. No, it was, but it was, even it was then, Jet. It was Jet. Jet, was Jet. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Was Jet also in the show or yeah. was? Ah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. So Jet, so it's yeah, Jet, Jet was. No, you said it's completely omitted. Yeah, yeah, I think I think they were rushing. <laughs> they they were. They probably focused on water bender girls are not allowed to fight. <laughs> they focused on that segment more. Yeah. They probably prioritized that one more. Now, um, an another thing that they they didn't show was um, do you know the part where uh Grand Grand was like, Oh, uh Katara, here's the scroll for water bending, right? Go practice water bending. So I believe uh she gets it, it, I believe in the show. In the animation, in the animated show, she gets that scroll from a bunch of pirates because those pirates oh. are trying to sell it. They're trying to sell it, and so she's like, "Wait, that's the ancient water, uh, ancient water bending technique scroll. I like give it back to us, right?" So she ends up ob obtaining it and she starts practicing. And the Aang is like, "What are you doing?" It's like, "Oh, I want to practice um my, my my water bending skills and stuff like that." And she was like, "You should practice too. It's because you need to be master of all four elements, right?" It's like, "Yeah, but like." You know, like, I have no one to teach me. He's like, I can teach you right now. We can both learn it together. She's like, okay. And you actually see Aang waterbending. Because in the live action show, he does not bend anything other than air. Yeah. Right? So yeah. it actually shows development between him and uh, and Katara is because she, uh, he actually likes her in the cartoon. Like, like, want to be romantically involved with her. Right, he like he has a crush on her. So, uh, so when they're water bending and stuff like that, and uh, it's it's pretty cool, is because like she's trying her best, and then Aang is a prodigy because he's the Avatar. Like he can do it right away. So she gets really really mad and upset, and then she's like, "Oh, I need to worry on my own. You know, I have my own path to walk. You're an Avatar. It's a little different." And it shows water bending and them show like going back and forth. And there's none of that in the live action. I'm like, what the fuck? We don't see anything from Aang other than him yeah, being a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I was I was expecting that, right? Because they're building up Avatar needs to be the master of the four elements. So I was expecting along the way, like he's learning a little bit of air, a little oh, sorry, a little bit of water, a little bit of fire. But no, yeah, he only does air bending the entire season, which is I yeah. find really strange. Yeah. So then um what's it called again? I would say Zuko is pretty well done. In my opinion, I I I think Zuko is pretty well I, done. His story, I like his story. It's just that there's some some not all not all overall is okay. There are some lines that he could have done a better job in. He could have commanded the screen a lot more. That that's it. Overall, the actor is fine. He, he could he could just improve. He could improve in season two. And he's yeah, I I kind of like his story arc where he's like, um, he was banished and he became the person he is and. I don't know how they pulled it off in the the unit 41. I don't know how they pulled it off in the show, but I like how they executed it here in the live action. 
That was not explained in the cartoon. Ah, okay. Yeah. I think it was like uh whatever general or captain G or something, whatever his name is. The guy who looks like a the guy who looks like a monkey, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He basically looks like a Planet of the Apes guy. And yeah, like yeah, he does. <clears throat> yeah, it shows like, oh, why uh why is uh Zugo such a bit little bitch? You know, he's 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 angry with me and stuff like that. And then it shows um uh what's it called in general Iro was like, no, actually. Like he actually cares about you guys very much, and it shows his whole backstory. Now, before we die, uh, yeah, General Zhao was another one too. Now, um, what do you think about the opening? The opening, like in, I, in the air in the air temple, like what happened with like all the airbenders and what when the Fire Nation, uh, came in and killed all of them. Uh, I think it would have been more effective as a flashback. Then you started off that way. I think, in my opinion, it's like because in if they put that in a flashback, it brings a sense of a, a sense of mystery and anticipation for the audience. It's like, oh, it, then then it'll have more impact. The massacre in the Earth Temple will have more impact rather than it as a starting point. I think that's how I feel. It's like, uh, it kind of reminds me of the old Bioware that I think is highly underrated. It's called Jade Empire. It's like you have to get very late into the game to get a flashback sequence of what happened to your character's past, which 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 actually it's very similar. It's like the, the temple got massacred, and it was, it's kind of like the impact of that scene. It's for me, it was stronger rather than being explained from the very start. I think that, that they should have done done it that way too. Okay, you want to hear something? Mm -hmm. The massacre at the air temple is a blip. In the animation cartoon, it was not shown. It was just a Ooh. small segment of them talking about it. The massacre of all the Airbenders dying, and how the the previous uh, king basically fucking burnt that guy, turned him to fucking burnt marshmallow. That was mm. not in the cartoon. It was only for the live action. Ah, okay. Yeah. So yeah, so is it is it really such a big character in the animated show? Uh, say that again. Yeah, so the old, yes, the old yeah, he, he yes, he is. Uh, he's like, wait, it's like he taught me and stuff like that. So you know the part where like Aang goes back to the the temple and he sees yeah. uh Gyatso, uh dead. Yeah, right. Like so, this one like you see, you see Gyatso. It, it, so you saw him basically saving like five kids in the back, right? Yeah, right. So basically, and this one, and this one, yes, he's, he's already dead already. There, there's no explanation. It just shows that. Uh, Gyatso was a it's uh he's my teacher and he was my friend and he taught me everything and stuff like that. So the actual killing of the whole like temple thing would never happen. So a lot of the um the what's it called again, the people who watch the the uh what's it called the cartoon and the animation, they're like, wait, what? We actually see them die? That's fucked up. <laughs> so um I'm not sure how they felt about yeah. it. Like I, I've seen memes where people were like drinking the water, they're like <laughs> 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 yeah, I yeah, I, I I also read chat a little bit. I think it's their it's their way of trying to be more like GOT. So if, if that was just, was that was just a blip in a TV show. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're 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 a gritty TV show also. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, like I, I'm not sure if they're trying to make it like feel like I don't know, like more mature. Because like I thought it was a board supposed to be lighthearted, you know, like yeah, uh, yeah. I watched episode one, that was the impression, right? But yeah, yeah they're, they're very it's, dark it's, and very it's, gloomy. It's, yeah, it's very serious. But I, I don't know. Yeah, so uh what do you think about Boomy? Who's Boomy? Sorry. Ah, ah. Uh I'll be honest, I didn't even realize who this character was until they showed that flashback towards the end when, when they were making <laughs> peace. I oh it's that kid. Okay, okay. Uh yeah. Uh I think his char his character here in the team, it's done in such a it didn't stick the landing for me. I think it was kind of he's like your stereotypical shallow type character. Oh, you gotta make the hard choices. And, and that's about it. Like he's forcing Ang like you have to make these hard choices as a leader, which they were kind of pushing for, but also with the other avatars. With the with the guy the guy the wolf the wolf guy and the and also the 
I, for, I keep forgetting the avatars' names, the uh, the previous avatars, but they were forcing it. You got you got to do this on your own. You got to be a warrior. So it's kind of like your stereotypical edgy type characters. So it, for me, it's, eh, it's okay. It's a all right. So in in the cartoon, yeah, I, I, Booming Bob mentioned it correctly. Um, I, I in the cartoon, what happened was that they do the whole dinner thing, and you know, guards throw them a feast, you know, and then like go eat, and then uh, where you know, you know, lettuce, and he's eating a lettuce do this or whatever and then oh i just have that renovation or whatever right like that room is renovated and um they start doing the whole ch um i captured your friends and they're in this like crystal thing and uh if you don't do this thing they're going to be you know encapsulated in this thing and they're going to die so you got to do this do these challenges and then they fight and then at the end of the fight he reveals himself to be boomy in the live action, they basically says, I'm Boomy, bitch. <laughs> basically, during the dinner <laughs> conversation, it's like revealed right away. So, like, it's sort of like it's sort of weird. I don't I don't know why they did that. Because like if they did it in a um a, like how they did it in the animation and in the cartoon, I think it would have been a lot more. Why is this person like this? Why is he so weird? Yeah. Like, oh, they yeah, actually yeah. know each other. Oh yeah. shit. Versus this one's like, oh, they know each other. He this guy is just an asshole. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah that's what that's that's what i was trying to say it's like it didn't stick the like yeah i think you're right that's where that's where they failed they revealed that too early they should have revealed at the final moments like a final dramatic moment then then that would have i think that would have stick the landing landing better okay now um now the thing is uh what's it called again uh chat can uh can, uh, can correct me um i know that uh every bender has a um they can get so good at their bending craft that they can master another element, right? So I, according to my wife, uh, Azula, uh, let's bring let's bring her face up again. Azula, <laughs> um, she's a firebender, but when does she when does she does it reveal that she can lightning bend as well? Like, it was it revealed this early? Is because what ha like what happened was uh. After uh, she's basically training with her father and her father is like, uh, you know, and you can stop. You failed this test. She's like, what? I failed, but I took him down. And dad was like, well, you could have took him down like four steps ago, four moves ago. And then she gets like super pissed off. And then she like, she summons lightning from her hands like really fast. Like I'm not like, so I know that she's supposed to be really good. Like according to what I heard, she's, she's more ruthless than Zuko. Does it happen this early? Yeah, Azula can like and then later. Yeah, according to Chad, it's not not this early. So, so this so. is way later. So what happens is that right before they took over uh uh Omashu, like she already knew how to lightning bend. So like I'm not sure if that's like is it because she's girl power, she's supposed to be that fast? Like she she got really strong really fast, in my opinion. Like I I I don't know. Creative changes sounds good. Like I don't. I don't know, man. Like she starts lightning after hunting as well. Ozai's face wasn't revealed for either. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see Ozai's face at all in in, in the animation. This one you see him in like episode five. Yeah, episode yeah. Four, episode early. five. See it yeah, you, and he's extremely handsome. I'm not gay, but right? I'm not. I'm not gay. He's. I forgot who he's, <laughs> who he's played by. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. He's I think, extremely yeah. buff too. <laughs> I. I I, I think it's because the showrunners wanted to mark use him as for marketing. That's why they showed him really early. But yeah, that would have been much better. Uh, like the actual person behind the scenes. He showed that's the kind of thing you show much later. Not in yeah. season one. Yeah, you see him like this like pretty damn early. Yeah. Like so this so this is a scene where he um there's a flashback where uh what's it called again? Iroh was talking to uh the unit 41. And it's like, oh man, he's a, uh, he's a, he's an asshole. Uh, Zuko's an asshole. It's like he actually cares about you a lot. He's like, what are you talking about? And it shows a flashback where Iroh is talking to the crew, and he was like, oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna be in my first uh, council meeting. And then he was like, we're gonna sacrifice these crew, and we're gonna make sure they die. And then he's like, what? You're gonna sacrifice them? He's like, yeah, because they're they suck, and uh, you know, they don't know anything. So we're gonna sacrifice them. And Zuko's like, you can't do that. And then the dad's like, shut your bitch, <laughs> shut your bitch yeah. mouth, right? And um, 
<clears throat> they, do, they, they, they go fight. And then uh, what happened is that is Zuko actually fights his dad. Like, j- like uh, he actually fights him. And then he actually gets the better of him. And he's about to punch him. And he stops. And he's like, why didn't you take the hit? You're a pussy ass bitch. And then he roasts his face. And you see a uh, fat sister, Azula, is like, That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> I was like, damn, what a bitch sister. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you see him like episode four, episode five. So uh, yeah, Daniel Day Kim bulked up. Man, didn't he always look like this? Wasn't he, wasn't he always good looking? Yeah, Ozai and Iroh can also lightning bend too, but Zuko can't. Yeah. See, like, uh, according to what I know, like, when, like, when he saw uh, Azula, like, lightning bend, he sort of had a smirk. And um, they basically, like, uh, you know, at, at the end, so basically the, the end of the eight, uh, the eight episode is um, they're all, they're fighting at the North, right? At, at the North Pole. And uh, what's it called again? General Zhao was there and the whole, the, the fucking uh, Godzilla shit shows <laughs> Godzilla shows up, the water Godzilla because of the fucking moon and shit, and uh, they basically take over. Um, Az- Azula and her crew takes over uh, Omashu and captures mm-hmm. Habumi. That's the end yeah. of the the season. Basically. Season one, yeah, yeah. So I thought they were gonna show Toph because I heard Toph is like everyone's favorite. So Gray, if you know who Toph is, is a blind Earthbender that's supposed to be the best Earthbender, and she teaches ah. she teaches um Aang how to Earthbend. Oh, they should have shown that. Uh, and anyway, maybe it's yeah. If this gets a season two, I suppose. Yeah, General uh, Sao's chicken. True. Yeah, he killed the moon spirit. Yeah, General Sao killed the moon spirit. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of Toph, man. Uh, Toph is a lot of people's favorite, so I'm not sure how they're gonna do that. Now, um, here's here's another thing uh, that I that I had an issue with. Uh, I think it was. Um, yeah, I think it was just. It being uh, other than the fact that it being rushed, this oh god, I forgot already. Oh, I'll, I'll come back to me now. Um, the okay, 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 came back. The the fight between um, I forgot that old man's name. The 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 ice the ice dude in the North Pole who's like the the leader of the water bending tribe up there. And, and Katara. Yeah, and, and the fight between them two. Yeah, yeah it's it, it's it's like I don't know how. Like Katara got so good at water bending if they didn't show her training at all. Yeah, yeah. Right? She it, barely trains. Yeah, I, I, like that was kind of shocking to me that they went for that. Yeah, I yeah. don't know if that's that's, po- that's really... thank you. Is it was that al- was that was that also the direction of the animated series? Series she fights Pokey. I I I didn't reach there yet. Ah, uh, okay. I okay. didn't reach there yet. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. But they're like, like oh, you're you're not supposed to fight, and then like she, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, so it's like you're you're an initiate in what like karate or taekwondo. Then you're you're pretty much near on par with a master. It's like it yeah, it doesn't add up for me either. Like yeah, yeah, this is more wokeness for in my opinion. It's like especially given oh, you gotta let the girls fight too. It's like yeah, it's like that, that's that's the vibe I got for sure. It's like uh, I th- I I'm not sure if this is how it went in the TV show. I don't I don't feel that it did. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So um I like I, I know that she was it's like no the women aren't supposed to fight up here they're only meant for healing I'm pretty sure that's that's pretty the cabbage merchant is in the show my cabbage yeah, is yeah 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 he I got, is, yeah, he is yeah. in it yeah yeah, yeah. So, I so, got the feeling he shows, he shows up three times he shows mm. up three times you know like, my cabbages <laughs> <So stupid. laughs> yeah, it's like an ongoing joke right yeah, yeah. um uh let's see I think there was a part okay now I had to rewatch it because I fell asleep. So um in my in my okay, so the part that I fell asleep was when Uncle Iroh was captured by the Earthbender guy. Mm-hmm. And then he was doing his backstory. I'm like, fuck, I'm fall, fucking falling asleep, man. <laughs> I'm fucking yeah. falling asleep here. I was trying to stay awake. And then when I woke up, it was for the fire nation. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just said that. <laughs> That's the end of the show. So I had to go back and watch like episode five all over again. And um, it, uh, I think Sokka was pretty well done. Um, now, they did remove him being a, um, a quote unquote misogynist. Right. He wasn't like in the cartoon. Was he a misogynist, though? I'm trying to see. I, I think in episode like one, 
a, a little bit, but it's really not on the nose. It's not as direct yeah. as the article we read was implying. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that? It was something that you could get him to change a little bit, because in episode mm-hmm. one, it's like he's he was looking down on Kat- Katara, right? Oh, it's because you're a woman. Then Katara went on a ramp. She rants. She went. She um, she lit a fuse and she ran. She ranted. Ended up breaking. I think the iceberg that freed him. Yeah. Aang. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah, it's not like that. So so basically, instead of the iceberg that freed Aang, uh, there's some kind of like wave shit that happens, and uh, they just fall into this this ice thing, and they're like. What is that? And then he just comes out of it. It's just it, it, it's it's not as it's very anticlimactic. But yeah, um, but yeah, Paku doesn't teach, doesn't teach uh, uh, Katara. Katara how to fight. Never taught her. It's yeah. because during that during that fight, like she was able to like summon ice all of a sudden. Like she's really yeah. good at ice all of a sudden. I'm like, wait, you're you you're barely, you're barely like capable of water bending. And the thing is that the water bending fucking VFX suck. It looks like you're spitting on them. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> if it looks like you just threw water in their face, like that's a water bending. It looks, it's, it's not, the effect does not look good. The impact does not feel good either. But um, she's able to summon ice all of a sudden. Like I, she just like it feels like she has no training. And then she was able to like cut the ice in half and shoot it at Paku. And yeah. then they're like, wow, how do you do that? And then uh, at the end, it's like, oh, I lost. I lost. It's like, well. Um, you know, you got to be better. And then Paku wa- uh, walks away, and she, and then uh, all her friends come up, and it's like, it's like, are you okay? It's like, I lost. Like, no, not according to your fans. And then like a bunch of people was like, <laughs> wow, how'd you do that? You're so good. You're so good. Like, I don't know. Like, she didn't, she didn't feel like she, she earned her place earned to be a it. warrior. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, yeah, uh, it, it's for me. I, I, Chat can say otherwise, but it feels like yeah, the wokeness writing is creeping in. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. I, I, it starts I, uh, off pretty good, like it, it, like it starts off solid, like yeah, a solid show. Yeah, it, yeah, it, right. It's like, one. like Katara was like, oh, I I can actually, she can actually float a ball of water. Then a few episodes later, she's fighting a master water bender. It's like, yeah, it's I'm not sold on that. Yeah. So, um, what they did do good was um was the the, the 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 dream guy the mask guy with the dream ah uh, the Ko? monster Ko? 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 What, what's his yeah name? yeah i think so i i i, I forgot yeah. what it was yeah. so basically in the animated show it was more like a panda it's like a panda spirit and the panda spirit mm. is mad is because um the fire nation burnt down the the forest and that's why it's like taking people's dreams and shit like that or like or like putting them into nightmares Versus this one, they actually has a backstory about uh, about it, and it actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. I think that creature looks pretty pretty interesting. Co the face dealer, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Did you let me, like? Let me find it. Am, am I mistaken? But the entire reason why he's taking people's spirits is because the the former avatar took an artifact of his. Yeah, I I find that a bit too. I, why did the avatar take the the artifact to begin with? I don't know. I don't know yeah, what that, happened. Yeah, that's why I find it lacking. I find I something tells me this is an unfinished <laughs> unfinished story arc. See, I, I find that too shallow. Oh, because that avatar took an artifact, I'm gonna steal people's spirits. I was like, that's yeah. that's my understanding. I, I think that it, it's lacking. It's it's not enough. It's not enough for me to be. For it to be convincing that that's the story of this ev- the supposed evil spirit, yeah, like like it feels like they combine both uh both the 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 bear the yeah the, the panda spirit and this characters because they were they were captured, right? They're captured and their spirits are being captured. It feels like it was combined with this character. I know this character is actually in the the animated series as well, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this thing looks pretty cool here in my opinion. It is a little creepy, but yo, let me go yeah. and read some super chats. Let's see, uh, Lord Bother with the 499 says the whole tone of the show is just wrong. Too serious all the time. It's clear they meant what they said by making it like Game of Thrones. Is that what they actually said? It does. I do feel like that they're uh, going for it. But yeah, it's... I, I Yeah, I they should have just stuck to the original vision. But 
yeah, it's like the showrunners left, right? It's like, oh, we want to be more like Game of Thrones. And this was yeah, they left like up. halfway through the production. Okay, and yeah, it. Well, if they're rushing things, yeah, that it's you know it's on it's on it's on par with season seven and season eight <laughs> of Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, uh, yo, thank you so much. And another uh, Lord Bother with another four nine nine. So Daniel Day came who plays Ozai's played the voice of him in the animated show too. Also, Johnny Gat in Saints mm. Row Games, a good voice actor. Yeah, um, he has he, a good portfolio. Yeah, I, I like Daniel Day Kim. Daniel Day Kim, he, he, he's really good, and, and and he's definitely ripped. Let's see, and uh, Mo Zamboni with the two dollars to hail Project Egg Roll question: What Asians are you? Gray, you can answer that first, and I'll, I'll follow. I, I'm, I'm a uh, Filipino Chinese, so that's why. If you're wondering why is my window so bright, it's because it's to, uh, almost twelve p.m. here. <laughs> it, I'm all the way in the Philippines. Yeah, and I'm uh, like to make to make things easy. I'm I'm Chinese, but if you want to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more like specific, um, I am quarter Burmese, and like two percent Dao, some some bullshit. I, I don't know, some some jungle Asian. All right, I'm one of the. I'm one of. <laughs> I'm twenty five percent jungle Asian. All right, <laughs> but yeah. Yes, cold face. Uh, the face of it was scary in a cartoon. Yeah, it's it's actually done really well here. It's actually really creepy, and uh, I I liked it. This this spirit was actually really really cool. I I haven't got to that part in in the cartoon yet, so I haven't seen it. But yeah, um, pretty cool. If you're Filipino, the Mexicans of Asians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the the thing is. Yeah, he's a scary character in the, in the show. It's like, but the story, though, his story, I, I find, he yeah. could have done a better job of this, right? Right? When, when, when Ang got that artifact from the previous Avatar, it's like, he just walked in and and saved Sokka and Katara, right? That's it. Oh, I yeah, have your all artifact. The other, are, are, and all the other friends came out too. Yeah, are, so we're friends now. It's like, then that's it. <laughs> it's clear they yeah. were, clearly were rushing. They were, I'm sure it was much better done in the animated series. Yeah, and uh, it's a uh, in um, what's it called again? In the show, she um, what's like, Aang also talks with um, a Roku, right? And he's like, "Who did you talk to before?" And it was like, "Oh, I was talking to Kyosha." So, oh yeah, Kyosha is a little bit of a. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Are you gonna say bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna say stuck up bitch?" <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's um, it, it 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 was it was pretty cool. But the thing is, uh, what they missed out on in what they should have talked about is um, how you you know how Roku says that oh, sometimes you don't need to fight; you can be a diplomat, so you can talk your way out of things without fighting, right? That shit never happens. That shit never ever happens. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because uh, in one of the episodes for the for the cartoon and, and and the animated show, there's an episode where there's these two factions that are fighting about a a ball or a sphere or some shit like that, an orb, and they're fighting, and then they're like they're gonna kill each other, right? And then uh, by the end of the the episode, Aang's like, "Wait, are you talking about these two guys?" He's like, "Yeah." These two guys that live a hundred years ago is like, yeah, I know them. And it's like, yeah, I know you knew them is because of uh, what's it called again? The, the, the lore and the myth about them thing. No, 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 no. I knew them because I'm actually 112 years old. And they all started like, they stopped fighting and they listened to him. He's like, yeah, they are actually two little babies. They're not actually a grown men. And that orb that you're talking about is actually just a ball. And it's like, wait, what, what are you talking? Wait, what happens if they, Go into that like detention thing, and it's like, oh, that's actually, uh, actually them them being out of bounds. They're actually just fighting and bickering over small things. It's actually a game to them. So what you guys are actually talking about is actually about a game, not actually about an actual story about warring tribes. They're like, oh, oh, okay, then I guess we got that wrong. So they stopped fighting, and then they leave, and then, uh, Katara and so uh, Sokka was like, wow, is that true? It's like, no, I just made that shit up. It's like, what? It's like, yeah, I just made that shit up. It's like wow. It's like yeah. I used to want. I wanted them to stop fighting. If they did something like that, it shows his his diplomacy and how he's like. You don't have to. You don't always have to fucking fight. You know, you can always talk your ways out of things and stuff like that. And they didn't do that with the live action show, right? Because if Roku talked about it in the live action show, it's like, oh, we don't actually need to fight. 
we can actually talk a way out of it. It's better for it that the last resort is actually fighting because that's what Roku said in the live action. Now, granted, Roku does not say any of that in the animated show. All he says that, yes, you need to fight. You need to get better. You need to win. You know, that, that kind of shit, right? So mm. it's like a missed opportunity. And I felt that's why I felt like they rushed it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about what I just told you? Yeah, it would have showed Aang better as a diplomat, not just skilled in the four elements. I think that would have deepened this character. But it's like, it feels like in the entire season, it's like Aang is always pretty lost because it keep, it's full of people telling him what to do rather than mm -hmm. him thinking for himself. It's like, it it's a flick, flip of a switch the moment one avatar tells him to do that. He immediately, he immediately just follows it, right? Example is, is, is the... What's the name of the the blue avatar? The guy with the wolf pelt on his head? Oh, the I the the, I, the, the water ice the, the water avatar. Yeah, I, don't, I, I I I don't know already. Yeah, uh, like, I, 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 he, gotta, he is probably like the the least interesting one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you gotta fight on your own. You shouldn't love other people. And then immediately, Ang just flips the switch and says yes. And then he tells Katara to stay in the sidelines because that's what that dude said. Yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, it feels, yeah, uh, it feels pretty weak. And it's not as, it's not even close to the Aang in the TV show with the way you just told that side story where he crafts a fake story just so they can stop fighting. That would have been a cool angle to show it to. Mm -hmm. Now, here, 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 here's Kiyoshi in the Avatar form. It's like, I will show you how cool you can be. And, uh, like my wife liked it, but she's like, "Wait, I don't think this is this, this is part of the story." Like, like this part is cool. Don't get me wrong. I thought, I thought that's that this part was pretty cool, but and then I watched Roku in the animated show. He like because Roku is like sealed in this like temple, right? He's like his shrine is sealed in this temple, and you need to like put like fire. Five fire benders need to like throw fire into that shit in order for the door to open. So what happens is like I will show you, you know, like the I will show you the way. And then he takes over Aang's body and fucking Roku rips, like he fucking earth bends and sh fucking causes like a fucking fissure on the ground. And he raises the lava from the fucking the depths of the earth. I'm like, holy fuck, he's strong. <laughs> right. For this one, she is like jumps out of nowhere and does like a big like superhero landing and everyone just flies away. Right. Yeah, and she does yeah. like a fire tornado kind of thing. And that's about it. And everyone's like, oh no, that's Kiyoshi. Oh, is that Kiyoshi? No, that's the actual avatar. Like, oh shit. But uh, I think Ro if they did the Roku thing, I think it would have been really, really cool. But of course, you know, modern day writing, you have to give the cool shit to the girls. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah, it's now chat. If you're asking, is it woke in some parts? It is. It is, especially the lesbian secret tunnel. Yeah, that, that, that was for me. That, that that was a bit too much, man. The others I may have even missed, or I think they were fine. But that backstory of Omashu, it's like, nah, you're not gonna sell me on an i I'm sure it was based on a on an actual Asian folklore tale. You, there's no way, man. Even back in the day, there's no way that's a thing. Like, I, I'm not criticizing uh, LGBTQ people, but it's it really what um it wasn't a thing back in then. Or if it if it was, it was really 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 frowned upon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, like right over here, I'm bringing up uh, an article, but uh, but right over here, the nerdist that says uh. Right over here. Earthbenders get a queer origin story in the Avatar Last Airbender uh, live action series. I guarantee you. Yeah. I'm not sure if Toph is a lesbian, but she is now. I guarantee you they're going to make her a lesbian. Whether or not she was in the, in the uh, animated show, she is now. Right over here. Uh, this is the origin story, right? With uh, Omashu. Right? Yeah. But uh, man, this is a. <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, I I was I was I, I was in the presumption that it was a, a man and a woman because yeah, it's an old Asian folklore story, but they really drove it in the nose that it's it's a girl to girl. They really yeah. emphasized that point. Toph <laughs> is an underage girl. Now they're gonna make her. They, they, they're gonna make uh, make her uh, of age. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so, yes. Toph is blind and short hair. She yeah, she she doesn't even know how other women look like. I don't know. 
oh god, Tav had a crush on Sokka. No, no, Steve's not gonna be like that anymore. He's not gonna. She has kids. Yeah, her daughter is in Korra. No, nope, not gonna be a thing. Not gonna be a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just pissing people off today. <clears throat> Toph is 12 would be awful, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Yeah, Toph is literally 12 in the show. Yeah, I think they might change her to they might age her up. I don't know. I feel like they might age her up because Toph is tiny. She's a little, she's a prodigy earthbender. Like she's like, here, let me let, let, let me bring it up. Let's see. Let me see. Bring her up. Yeah, she's a, she's she's an actual kid. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, she's wow. actually just like she's but, yeah, she, she has a but daughter. She's, yeah. But she's black. She's is she blindfolded? Because she's no, blind. no, she's 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 just blind. Oh, they show her eyes. They still show her eyes. Yeah, she has she has the deadpan eyes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, here's the thing. Uh maybe I see scissors. So may, <laughs> maybe Top's uh future uh husband <laughs> because it's trans. Becomes a trans female, <laughs> and then when they do Cora, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man, we're, we're, yeah, we're ruining it. Yeah, they make jokes, then they when they attack, and she's looking the wrong way. Yeah, <clears throat> man, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, the the the, car the cartoon is good. I, I I like it. It's very lighthearted. It's not. It does not take itself too seriously. There are serious moments, but. I think this show, uh, the live action show, it takes itself too seriously, in my opinion. Um, a lot of characters are underdeveloped. Um, I feel like things are really, really rushed. Like, like no, basically, you're in one episode, and next episode, you're like somewhere far, far away. Granted, the cartoon does that from time to time, but uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's. I, I don't know. I don't know. And I remember uh, there's a lot of things that that happened in the show where i didn't really care about but uh gray uh do, do do you still believe that this show is gonna is gonna is gonna is gonna do well like like go 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 ahead and bring up your comments and i will bring up the rotten tomato score i think it'll it's i'm not sure how a lot of people the general consensus is but i know it's uh, i with last i checked this morning rotten tomatoes the audience score was really high but the critics were actually surprisingly on the low side. It's, it's actually, I was expecting it, it might be the other way around, but it's actually the critics who are more objective in this. But uh, if it does well in terms of viewership numbers, I imagine this is going to get a season two. But if that really happens, it's going to end up like being The Witcher. It's going to end up having the Henry Cavill route and Lauren Hiss Richard. They're, they're going to insert more and more and more until. Yeah, until they end up just canceling it. It's gonna end up like The mm. Witcher. That's how I see it. At best. I mean, I, I'd yeah. be glad if I'm wrong. Like it's season two actually becomes really, really good. No more woke stuff. But I'm I mean it's is it realistic to expect that though? That that kind of best case scenario. I don't think so. Yeah. So Jessica asked, uh not asked, I said uh the humor in the anime show a ser animated series is well done. Yeah, there I think there is no humor in this show other than a specific few like the first yeah, one is yeah, like yeah. The, the cabbages the, the on uh, the on uh ongoing joke for the cabbages i think uncle iroh tries to make light of things from time to time and uh what's it called again um there's a one part where Sokka was like uh yeah Sokka, like and, Mo Sokka and momo right it's like i think they yeah. just they just picked that off the, the show but it didn't yeah, I, I think it's also because of the actor. He didn't, he didn't. For me, he didn't stick. Sokka and Zuko. For me, it's like their acting could be. They're not the worst. They're definitely not the worst. But I think they can do better. That, that's me. Yeah. I think they can do better. Yeah, and then um, there's one part where it's like, we gotta go get Ang, right? It's because uh, Ang turned himself in. I believe in the first episode, he turned mm -hmm. himself into the Fire Nation. Is because um. Uh, you know, they were gonna destroy uh Sokka's and um and uh Katara's uh, small little village, right? And it's like, we're gonna get on this goat, this bison. We're gonna get on this bison. He's like, You're expecting me to get on that? I will never be getting on. Ah! It, it, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, Okay, yeah, you know, it's like it's like sort of cringy writing, and yeah, uh, <clears throat> it's not it's not that great now. 
um danny brooks asked um is a lot in the live action does zuko free ang from prison yes 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 he does so that's that's the same and he he wears the blue mask too and um and also called again um the i'm not sure this happened in the in the animated show but uh the part where it's like where do you think um uh, you know uh where do you think you know we got those archers from those very very good mercenary archers from where do you who do you think told us about the your sword and your mask you know and it's like your sister your sister is the one who's going to be leading the charge and shit like that and uh and i i don't know man like uh i i don't i didn't really care too much what happens to the character when like i said when princess yu died i didn't care like she became well she didn't really die she became the spirit um when any of the characters died i didn't really care when the characters start getting emotional i don't care it's because everything felt so rushed right there hasn't been enough there hasn't been enough time for me to like get to know these characters and yes ang is is well i think looks wise ang is pretty well casted for looks and uh but i feel like he he lacks personality other than being super fucking serious it feels like I'm in the DC universe, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels like if Zack Snyder <laughs> held this Avatar franchise, it, everything just has to be so serious. Yeah. See, uh, yeah, Daniel D says that to reiterate my previous comment a couple weeks ago, a pretty, a pretty uh, piece of shit is still shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, 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 uh, like now I'm gonna bring up the, um, I'm bring this up over here. That is the score right now. So let me zoom up a little bit more. That's it's the score. Rot it's rotten now. For critics yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Aang isn't supposed to be serious. Yeah, he's a 12-year-old kid. He's so yeah. freaking serious all the time, man. It's like, what the hell yeah. happened? Yeah. Like, like he... And the thing is that he doesn't really try to make moves on Katara. You know, like, because in the in the cartoon, he does. Like, I, so I'm at the part where they're doing the fortune telling. And then, uh, and like whenever Aang tries to like show off and Katara's not here, he goes, oh, he's like that. He, he gets sad because he can't show off in front of her. Right. So there's, uh, yeah, I'm at the fortune teller part where they go to the fortune teller and then, um, it's like, it's like, all right, I'm going to tell your fortune. And Katara goes with the fortune teller to the back and Aang's like, oh, I need to go take a shit. Right. I mean, I need to go take a shit. And he's like, all right. And Sokka's like, all right. And then he goes and then he's, he eavesdrops. It's like. So your relationship is you're gonna be you're 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 gonna be marrying the most powerful bender, and then Ang was like, "Oh, that's that's me, that's me, <laughs> right, right." <clears throat> and then um, he's like, "All right, all right, all right," and he comes back, and then Sokka's like, "You finished taking your shit yet?" He's like, "Oh, I did actually didn't need to go." And then he comes, and then the the fortune teller comes out. He's like, "All right, uh, Ang, time to go, fortune tell," and he's like. You know, grab this boner and put it into the fire, and the boner will crack. Was and then um, how many fractures? I'll be able to tell your fortune. And he's like, "So what's my fortune say? You're gonna be in a crazy ass war, a war that will end all wars." And he's like, "What about my love life? You know, because that's all he cares about. It's because he likes Katara. All right. So in the show, there's nothing. Maybe they don't yeah. want him to be like a little like uh like a little creeper for her. I don't know, man. It, it just feel like he's yeah, not... yeah, yeah, yeah. I I felt that there was supposed to be something there between Ang and Katara, but in, in the show zero, absolutely. Like Katara is just like the older friend. That's what yeah. they were that they're going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah. So over here, fifty nine reviews for Rotten and seventy five audience score. Yeah. Um. And I believe uh, I I uh, I think a lot of people feel the same way. Like it's like it's not terrible, but it's not great. It's like yeah, like if you didn't watch the animated show and you watched it, sort of like what you did, and you yeah. still gave it a five out of ten, right? F five is being incredibly objective. Like if you want to be a, a little bit more leeway, I would go as far as seven, between five to seven. But I would like I would rather stick to five or six. Okay. Yeah. I think for me, the fact that I fell asleep, <laughs> I gave it like, okay, some of the VFX are good. Um, some of the acting where it needs to be is good. I think, um, I think, uh, what's it called again? The choreography is pretty good. 
I think the editing is really bad for some parts, especially uh, there was a scene where um, I think Zuko was fighting uh, General Zhao and there was like four cuts for him to do a kick. I'm just like, like, yeah, like, yeah. Something felt off in that fight. Something felt off in that fight for sure. Like, yeah, something to do with the editing. They cut certain segments. Yeah, it's sort of like when Liam Neeson goes up a wall, there's like 15 cuts. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> 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 because he's an old man, right? But um, but one thing that I, I thought that was pretty funny is uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, this one right here. Uh, right here. Last Airbender star Ken Leung thought that I he was that. auditioning <laughs> for the James Cameron Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> so chat uh, if you guys didn't know uh ken leung you're like who the fuck is he he uh he, he plays general Zhao, and he also plays uh sang from rush hour one Ooh. so uh so yeah so uh he was like hey i thought i'm gonna be blue guy but i still mm. become yellow i still play yellow guy <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah he thought he was gonna be blue but he ended up still being yellow yo what's going on alec bomb's finger how's it going dude he got catfish, man. Damn. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Here, okay, here's an interview. Before Avatar Netflix debuts on Thursday, get familiar with the cast. This clip is Ken Leung. Ken Leung tells us about his character and how he landed the role. Let's see. I play Commander Zhao, who then becomes Admiral Zhao. Um, he's kind of a hero in his own mind. Um, he's kind of delusional that way. And we see what that means during the course of this show. Were you um, a fan of the original and how was your character? I didn't know the I didn't know the original. <laughs> <laughs> he did he did a good job being a, a, an asshole though. I gotta give him props. Yeah, yeah, like, it, 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 yeah he's actually he, he did a good job being an asshole. At all. Um I mean maybe it's an age thing. Um but I didn't know about it. In fact when I first heard that it was for Avatar, first of all the audition was not you, you couldn't tell it was for avatar so it was kind of disguised as a different project um and when i first heard that it was for avatar i thought i was going to be blue so <laughs> you, know, you know i looking back i kind of love that i came in blank um because when you come in when you have ideas um you can kind of i don't know corrupt a pure process. You come in blank, things will come into it that will that will inform your playing of it in a way that it might not if you came in with preconceived ideas or plans. So that was really, you know, I, I liked. I was grateful for that. That's actually okay. Like I, I, I do like yeah. his comments. Like he, he went. In yeah, yeah, him. yeah. And he he tackled it in such. Yeah, I didn't watch the source material, but I still did my best to play the role, which he did. Which he did. He did. He, he yeah. played it pretty well. Yeah. Like yeah, it, this uh, is not I, a this is not a Rachel Ziegler interview where she shits on the material. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, but, but overall, I I I think he did a good job uh, as uh, as a bad guy. Um. I you did, not, you did not like his character, and is meant to be like that. Like he's an asshole. Yeah. And uh. And he is like that in the in the animated series too. He 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 is sort of an asshole, which is which is pretty cool. But uh, but yeah, man, he's like, man, I thought I was, I thought I was going to be blue, but they still cast me as yellow man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's um, I, yeah, I, I, I think overall, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, if you, if you never watched the animated show, can you watch the show and still like it? I, I would say so. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It's like yeah. you might even like the show more because oh, it, the show was really this. The show missed a lot of marks. This this one's a lot better. Yeah, but uh, man, uh, are you going to watch? Are do we have? Do you think it's going to get a season two? There's a chance, in my opinion, given the Rotten Tomato score of what. There's already a thousand ratings in there, so I think a good people watched it. I think, I think, but it, the show as a quality TV show compared to One Piece for me, nah. But it, yeah, it, 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 it was, has a solid chance. It has a solid chance, in my opinion, to get a season two. Man, they they thought that they 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 got that in the bag. It's like, oh man, us, uh, 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 One Piece did amazing, and uh, it's gonna be really really good. And then, 
<laughs> oh shit, yeah. man. Look, look, uh, look, chat room. I'm not trying to be an asshole here. Maybe okay, maybe just a little bit. But the thing is, um, uh, Azula, my, and uh, Tylee, like, like you should see how they actually look like in real life. They don't look, they don't look bad. Like they actually look. Uh, uh what's the key? Uh, live action. Like let me let me let me let me bring it bring it up. Like, like I don't know they they fattened them up. Like I don't know why they they would do that. Let me see if I can find a photo right right over here. Like did they fatten them up or something? Like what the hell happened, man? Like, like they look so yeah. different. Yeah. It feels like they purposely fattened them up. Yeah, it's like a Rose Tico thing. Okay, so this one over here. Who the one who's who's playing my Azula? Uh, uh, um, yeah, my. Talia yeah, sorry, Tran sorry. and yes, yeah. and with Azula with who's played uh, Lizzie Yu, like they don't look like that in the show. Like it feels like they purposely made them fat. Yeah, One Piece yeah. did great because the original creator com had complete control. Yeah, yeah, this one the the, the, the creator the, the, both of them left <laughs> like like yeah. half like a quarter away or halfway in, but yeah, like um. I think uh Tylee was uh I think I think she does she looks fine, but as these two, like look at this, and then look at this. Yeah, too many shoe mine. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah, too, too much food while on while, while on set. So they <laughs> yeah, they too, eat too much. Yeah, food. they're eating they're eating too much of the craft services, yeah. right? Yeah, because... <laughs> yeah. While, while, while while they were shooting, it was eat all you can buffet every day. <laughs> Yeah, oh uh, yeah, but the, yeah, it's the lenses. No man, like look, like look, look at her. Like she doesn't, like you compare. Okay, look at her, and look at this. Mm -hmm. The one in the red. Yeah, yeah. Like wow. Like, and then you look at, you look, like, My... you look at Big Mama over here, and then you look at the middle one. You're like, wow, what happened? Yeah. Like, granted, these pictures could be of them when they're a lot younger. I don't know. It even could be then, a shit like, ton of makeup. E even then, it's like even if they're they were that was in their younger years, like this is a huge project from Netflix. So you might as well put in the work, right, to have that fit body that you need. I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's, that's how yeah, I see it. Uh, they don't look bad looking characters. They just don't fit the characters at all. Uh, yeah, like they don't like. Oh my god! Like when you zoom out on this picture over here, like there's an actual shot of them like standing there. Like the girl that's playing my, she actually looks like man. It's like what happened? Yeah, too much mooncake. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.